Hi everyone, this is Dan, and this is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, uh, Volume 2, by Hirohiko Araki. Uh, this is the uh, second uh, Takoban of the Phantom Blood uh, arc. But uh, I'm going to do something a little different uh, this video. Normally when I do manga uh, reviews, or, or go over a manga, I guess, I always do the whole uh, Takoban. Or the whole volume right and I think this time around I'm actually just gonna do one chapter of it and uh, the the reason why is I'm kind of uh, curious sometimes when you when you read these things you just burn right through them and that's fine uh, but in this case uh, it makes it kind of odd when I'm thinking and comparing manga to comics and the reality is Jojo's Bizarre Adventure especially the older ones right here they were serialized in the uh, Weekly Shonen Jump. In this case, this guy was actually uh, released. Let me see. Do I have my research right here? This was actually released in the 14th issue of the Weekly Shonen Jump back in 1987. So this is uh, really, really old. And 1987 makes you know puts JoJo pretty much in the same... Uh, conversation of some of the more classic uh, Marvel runs and DC runs of the time uh, gives you a little bit of uh, frame of reference when you think about this and uh, I just feel like I like I feel like it's a more fair comparison when I'm going about it in my own head now this might not work at all but uh, I'm gonna try it anyway and see what happens and we'll go from there anyway this uh, chapter right here I uh, Chapter 12, uh, Youth with Dio Part 1. You get a pretty cool little splash page or manga style splash page with uh, uh, Jonathan Joestar doing some weird uh, feng shui. It's uh, very British. <laughs> so immediate action. Uh, Dio's been shot multiple times after he stabbed uh, Jonathan's father. Kind of get uh, caught up in the middle of the action. You get this cool photo of these uh, revolvers and... Uh, you know, uh, Dio getting getting shot up. He's put the stone mask on, which will become important in a little bit. You get a really tragic uh, couple pages of uh, Jonathan's father dying. He's been stabbed in the back by Dio. And some interesting uh, art choices by Iraqi. I, I like the facial expression changing. I, I like it, uh, this static panel, but it, it kind of looks somewhat odd in a way. But I know what he was going for. A lot of Iraqi style is just trying to draw like really like raw emotions out of the reader. And uh, this is kind of like his early attempts at doing that with his art, which is pretty interesting. So he passes away and he gives his uh, ring to his, or his mother's ring, which he was wearing on his pinky to his son. And then, uh, you know, every, he, he dies. Uh, Ario Speedwagon, by the way, this is this character's name is Ario Speedwagon. Uh, Robert E. O. Speedwagon, I guess, in some uh, cases. And he begins the long uh, JoJo <laughs> uh, tradition of naming characters or uh, certain abilities or other things after uh, musicians, bands, and songs. Anyhow, this hat uh, is driving me crazy. <laughs> this is like older Rocky art. Though I think some of his newer stuff, he still does this till, uh, too. And uh, you get the inspector has this really interesting backstory uh, on Dio and, and really Dio's father. So we have a flashback to uh, Jonathan's father going uh, to the jail with this uh, inspector. And the inspector's telling him, hey, we caught this guy trying to sell uh, your, your wedding ring. Uh, you know, we, we know he stole it from you. You know, do you want to meet the guy? And, uh, you know, his father meets him, and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, uh, Brando, in this case. Oh, man, I can never remember his name. Uh, yeah, Dario Brando, and uh, George uh, Joestar is her name. And uh, he's a piece of shit, by the way. I, I talked in the previous volume how he kind of, kind of really abused on his son. And Dio, in a way, is, is kind of a product of this uh, this human piece of crap right here. Also, this facial expression uh, <laughs> becomes really funny later on when you 
Like, I don't know why, but this this classic uh, yelling expression that uh, Araki is really in love with it. Anyhow, uh, George actually uh, saves Dario by saying, no, I actually did uh, uh, give him this ring because he feels sorry for Dario. And it's like, and he tells Dario, you know, you know, Mr. Brando, this belongs to you. I, too, was born into poverty and may have made the same choice as you did. Please sell the ring and buy something for your family and renounce the evils of your past and live to be a good person. Kind of highlights uh, in a strong way what uh, Araki was trying to go for with these characters. He's trying to make uh, George and Jonathan both very pure and honest and very trusting people. And in this case, you know, you know, also their weakness, which is they're very naive, right? So, you know, we get to to him he, he's this is pretty tragic right here where he, he passes away and then he, this is the like the classic manga shock you know with the shock backgrounds and everything yeah i don't know why but uh in in manga they're like backgrounds are either like they're very basic or they're like this cool effect or they're insanely detailed <laughs> there's like no in between for for manga it's always uh, the background is very basic, and then the characters in in detail, or like you have these like really nice pieces of. I'm not sure if he actually did this from scratch or if he copied this off a of reference, but it's still pretty interesting to look at. And then this is where uh, the story for me, getting into JoJo. Up until now, JoJo was pretty cool, and there were some gut wrenching moments, and it got you emotionally into it, but it was still a little on the boring side. This is where it gets kind of interesting because it goes into pretty much dark fantasy really, really fast. <laughs> so you get them uh, talking about more about uh, Jonathan and, and George. And then all of a sudden, you know, Dio's body's gone. And Ario Speedwagon yells at the cop and the cop just gets his head clean taken off. And then here it is, Dio on the outside, now having transformed from the stone mask. You know, obviously with superhuman powers, having chopped this guy's head off. You know, and you get left left on this. Uh, you imagine being a Japanese youth kind of left on this cliffhanger. You've been reading basically what felt almost like a slice of life with some boyhood violence in it. And all of a sudden you're like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> Anyhow, uh, that's it for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure uh, Chapter 12. Uh, of uh, Phantom Blood. Uh, let me know what you uh, what you think about this new uh, method of just doing it issue by issue, uh, like it was intended in the in the, uh, the in the Shonen Jump, or if I should just go back to doing the whole uh, volume in one sweeping. I thought it was kind of interesting to kind of actually delve into deeper detail. Kind of showed you some of the, the the smaller things that Araki was trying to accomplish with each issue. Uh, as well as highlight, you know, a lot of some errors too in it all. Uh, but anyhow, yeah, if you like this video, uh, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, hit the bell for notifications. And, uh, you know, I will probably be back with the next chapter of JoJo later on in the week. Uh, not going, not doing manga full time, definitely going to have some more comics coming up. Possibly uh, more Daredevil. And uh, maybe some, uh, maybe hopefully if my uh, stuff actually comes in, maybe some Alpha Flight. Anyhow, uh, I will see you next time.